Hi there. In the last episode, I talked to you about scientists who are taking existing drugs and repurposing them to fight the current virus, okay? Today, I'm going to talk to you about a different strategy completely. I'm going to talk to you about scientists who are creating something called monoclonal antibodies, or monoclonals for short, that are designed to boost your immune system. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So here's how I think about it. I think about the repurposed drugs as being like war veterans, really experienced soldiers that are re-enlisting for this new war, okay? These monoclonal antibodies are like the clones in Star Wars <laughs> that fight the droids, okay? So here's how it all works. When you are attacked by the virus, your body sends out basically a 911 that activates your immune system, which has a lot of moving parts, but among them are some very special white blood cells called B cells, okay, B cells. Think of these as kind of mobile antibody factories, you know, like the mobile gutter factories that come to your house and custom design gutters for your house. I know it's crazy, but that's how I think. So these B cells are like mobile antibody factories, okay? Keep that in mind. So they go to the scene of the attack, right? And they size up the virus, and then they custom design an antibody that is meant to basically take that virus and put them in a, in a hammer lock. It's custom made, okay? And then it shoots up a chemical flare telling all the rest of the immune system, hey, I've got one, come and get it. And so these other elements of your immune system come and actually destroy the virus, okay? That's basically how it works. Now, when the war is over and the dust is settled, some of these B cells become what we call memory B cells, and they're stored in the bone marrow, in the spleen, and elsewhere, in the lymph system, for example. And these memory B cells remember the custom-made hammerlock for that particular virus. So if you're ever reinfected down the line, they can mobilize more quickly, okay? So that's, I mean, it's a brilliant, so your immune system, I mean, I could go on and on. I've got to limit myself because I've, I, I want to keep these things short. Boy, but your immune system is amazing, okay? So um, we know because of this that People who have survived COVID-19 must have these custom-designed antibodies in their systems, right? So scientists are now, have now for some months, been collecting the blood of COVID survivors, harvesting these custom-designed antibodies, and then multiplying them, cloning them. This is why they're called monoclonal antibodies. Mono, because it's one specific type of antibody, and then they're cloned by the millions, okay, into vast quantities. And then they are tested in the lab to make sure that they work. Then they're tested further to see which ones are especially good. I think of them as trying to identify the green berets among them, right? And those are the ones you want to use as treatments um, in other people who have been infected, all right? So that's basically the concept behind monoclonal antibodies. There are about, oh, you know, a half dozen groups in the United States that are doing this. Um, the military is involved in many cases. For example, the University of Texas at Austin uh, is working with the Army Research Lab. Um, Vanderbilt University is working with the Department of Defense. But the leader appears to be a company called Regeneron in New York. And they're the leader because they have several advantages. Number one, they have a strain of lab mice, get this, that have, in effect, human immune systems. They have been genetically engineered to have immune systems that mimic ours. So you don't need to collect blood from patients. You, they're doing that, but you don't need to just do that. You can also just infect the mice. That's what Regeneron is doing infecting the mice, collecting then the customized antibodies from them, and then cloning them, and then testing them, all right? 
So that's one big advantage they have. The second advantage they have is they've been doing this for a while. They've been doing monoclonal antibodies treatments for a while for things like cancer, asthma, uh, arthritis. So that's a big advantage. The third advantage they have is that a while back they created a cocktail of three monoclonal antibodies designed to attack the Ebola virus and it had pretty good results, all right? So they plan to start human testing of their, they created a cocktail of two antibodies and so they're going to start testing it in humans next month. And then if all goes well, they hope to have um, hundreds of thousands of treatments ready to go by the end of the summer. So we'll see. But if you've been watching my episodes, you know that in science there's always caveats. So I've just told you the good news. Here come the caveats, okay? Get ready. First of all, this is still, monoclonal antibodies is still a a young science, okay? So we know that it works up to a degree, but what we don't yet know is how well it'll work against this nasty virus. So we've got to confirm that and we'll know that once we're through the human trials, all right? That's caveat number one. Number two, the process of making these monoclonal antibodies, you know, just multiplying them by the millions, huge quantities in vats, um, is very complicated and it's also very expensive. So. It's not realistic, unfortunately, to expect that this treatment will be useful for the general population, unfortunately. So it's going to be restricted probably to really high risk people like healthcare workers, for example, and older people, um, and older people with compromised immune systems or with pre existing illnesses. You know, it's not everything we want it to be, but it's something. And then the, the other caveat is that it does have to be administered through an IV in a clinic or a hospital setting. So it's not something you're going to be able to get at your local pharmacy and, you know, pop a pill and you're good, good to go. Okay, so that's the story of the monoclonal antibodies and these labs are furiously working 24-7 uh, to get the job done. And we'll see who wins out. We'll all win out when there's a winner, obviously. I want to leave you with this thought. The clones in Star Wars won the war against the droids. So let's hope that in this case too, the clones will win the war, not against the droids, but against this nasty virus. All right, that's it. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, stay strong, and no matter what, my friend, always, always stay positive.